Good morning, Taurus. Welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is your daily reading for Thursday, February 28th. I'm going to light some incense and then we'll get right into it. Over here, it is very cold and I'm just about to get 15 centimeters of snow. But it's very cozy. It's very nice. As you can see, I've made some daily readings for other people. Seeing how it goes, I'm going to stick with it for a few days. But you're not included in those because I already have a reading for you guys separately. So which is why I did not include you in Virgo Capricorn for the Earth signs. Alright, so let's get right into it. I'm going to use a Lion's Try to Tarot uh, as usual. And it's by somebody. I don't know. I forgot. I don't see the box around here. I don't know where I put it. Then I'm going to use the Fashion Oracle cards by G Gabrielle Bernstein, Miracles Now by, by, no, Gabrielle Bernstein, Miracles Now, Camilla Morton's Fashion Oracle cards, and then Denise Lynn's Gateway Oracle cards, and then of course the Crystal, Work Your Light, sorry, Work Your Light Oracle cards by Rebecca Campbell. Let me have some coffee. You guys know. It's my first reading for the day, and I'm always blah, 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 a little bit. Ooh, good now. Okay. Good, good, good. We're going to pick five cards. First card is the situation. Second card is Taurus. Third card is surrounding you. Fourth card is outcome. Bottom card is the underlying energy, which I'll pick out as soon as I get the outcome from the bottom of the deck. So let's get started with Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, for Thursday, February 28th. Can we please get a card for the situation? Can we please get one card for the situation? For Taurus, for Thursday, February 28th, please. Here we got a gift card for Taurus, Summer Rising in Venus for Thursday, February 28th. My shuffle takes a long time. I saw comments about it. it like, you take so long shuffling and all this kind of thing, but I know. People like the drop, and those are the people I care about. But if it does take a really long time, you know I'll pick a card. But if you're those type of people, you know, who need to have everything quick and fast and the way you like it, I completely understand. You should start your own tarot channel. Alright, can I get it for Thursday, February 28th? We get one card for the situation for Thursday, February 28th. My candle is almost out. This one, I left it on last night, all throughout the night, because it looked exactly the same. Like, it's a miracle that it's still going. I'm waiting for it to be used up so I can start my new ones. But still, what a blessing. That's so nice. Literally, I thought that wick was done and toast in like 20 minutes max last night, and it's been all night, all till now. Looks exactly the same. All right, can we please get a situation for Taurus? What's going on? we go. Yay! See what happens when you're patient. Six of Wands and Three of Pentacles. Woohoo! That's the situation. Victory! Clarified by recognition for your skills at work. That's what we like to see on the bottom. Hierophant! Okay, that's Taurus. But let's get a card for Taurus now, please. Let me get a card for Taurus, please. Here we get a card for Taurus. Oh my goodness, it's all that. 
Okay, Taurus, so this is a card for you. This is three cards. Hmm, you know the drill. I like to take two cards for the placements where the one card clarifies the other. Now, when there's three, I take it as a mini read for someone. So we got five of pentacles, eight of wands, and the moon. Five of pentacles is speaking to lack of faith, lack of funds, financially, or it could speak to being left out in the cold. Um... Something where a lack of trust and lack of faith, okay? This we get a lot for Taurus reads in the past. So then also around this though, we're going to take this as Taurus, surrounding outcome. And on the bottom there was Nine of Wands, a wounded warrior. Okay, <laughs> I think I know who this is. This is for somebody who's been left out in the cold, one of the Tauruses, okay? And there's like some kind of like eight of wands surrounding this love, enthusiasm, high energy, all this type of energy. But the problem was that the moon card was secrecy, deception, hidden things at work, an element of danger. And on the bottom, you got you got the wounded warrior. OK, someone who's been feeling a little bit. ooh, their feelings a little bit ouchy left like, you know, here a vigilant kind of defensive. Now, for some of you. It might resonate for others. Let me tell you right now, I have a feeling who this is because the, the person popped up in my mind right when I went, like before I did this. And that was a little read for you because, 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 right? When people talk about strange things like trying to do voodoo on people and thinking it's okay. Oh, look here, there's more. Seven of Wands, again, this energy, the Empress with the Tiger. But look at what's going on. These two people trying to think. Let's just put it this way. I think this is a personal read here because <laughs> there's some people who are causing trouble. And look, the moon on the bottom again, causing trouble. And I'm going to go back to this main read. It was just kind of like these people who write nasty things and they come in like threes and fours and clusters at the same time. So you kind of know that they're all friends and they all know each other. Rena, shout out to you, Rena1961. You were asking, but does anybody have a link for a good astrology channel for the Uranus and Taurus right now? It's going to enter March, by the way, side segue here. And I didn't say anything. I'm like, oh, I just look at all over kind of places. Why? Because the tarot crowd, it's not a, it's not a friendly bunch. So even if I did know, I wouldn't say it because I don't want to give a shout out to those channels because it's not a friendly bunch. <laughs> so, all right. Let's go back. Uranus and Taurus. Please, guys, Google it. This is for Taurus, please. The situation for Taurus for Thursday, February 28th. For those of you who aren't used to it, when three cards pop out or more, I take that as a personal read, and I'll read that out for someone. All right. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Thursday, February 28th. Can we get a card representing Taurus? There it is. Ace of Pentacles again. Lovely. We got that before on the bottom. Six of Pentacles. Now, around you, please. Can we get a card for what's surrounding Taurus? What is surrounding Taurus? What's surrounding Taurus? Can we get a card for what's surrounding Taurus? Someone rising to Venus for Thursday, February 28th, please. What's surrounding Taurus? So far, looks good, guys. Six of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. I love this Ace of Pentacles card. I love the way they depicted it with this rabbit, especially right now. I know it's still winter, but can't you feel the change? Six of Wands is about victory, victorious, having a rite of passage, um, being awarded something, a promotion. Getting recognition. Same with Three of Pentacles. It seems like there's something related to work, okay? That is one step up, level up here. Oh. Around you, a new opera. This is the Fool card. Looks like someone who's coming around you like this. Bottom is King of Wands. This is a major arcana card. Wonderful. So, what's surrounding you is this energy of new beginnings. Clean slate, fresh start, Uranus and Taurus. It's enlightened energy as well. This is beautiful. Look how it's got 
flowers in his hand, the bird of spirit there, easy breezy, ready to go off on their next adventure. This is what's surrounding you. The wind of change, a new clean, fresh start. I love it. I hit an outcome, please, for Taurus for Thursday, February 28th. For Taurus, someone rising in Venus, can we get one outcome and one underlying energy card for Taurus for Thursday, February 28th? lovers oh lovers okay so this is it guys let's talk about it you've got the six of wands and three of pentacles i'm seeing a promotion at work or some kind of recognition for sure three of pentacles is about collaboration it's when you'll see traditionally in the tarot the church and a craftsman's working on a stained glass window and there's two older clergymen and they're kind of overlooking and overseeing his work there's a sense that that craftsman's a little bit younger, but his talents or her talents is recognized because it's kind of a given that they're the best person for the job, most skilled artist. So even though a little bit younger, maybe not as wise or whatever as the clergy people, but at the same time, someone who's the best at what they do. And so they're doing the stained glass, they're, they're creating art. It's a card of an artist. It is an artist's card. If you are an artist, someone who's creative, which is wands, energy is also, you know, amps up that creative energy because it's fire male energy about creativity and manifesting. But this collaboration energy is about someone who's getting recognized for their skills. It's where you get fame and recognition and you're seen as the tops, basically. Uh, Six of wands is the card that this was clarifying. This kind of sense of victory, achieving something, overcoming obstacles, and you know somehow making a name for yourself and standing out. This person rides back on a horse into town. Everybody's cheering. Some are cheering, and they're not happy in the crowd. You know, just like on my tarot channel, not everybody's happy. But at the same time, you know, everybody's cheering. So it's saying, don't be cocky when you're going through this kind of uh, upgrade, a level up, whatever. Be mindful not to be overly confident. There's a slight warning there because not everybody's happy for you and they'll just as soon be cheering for your downfall. At the same time, it's saying you are being greatly recognized here. You've overcome something and you're getting a recognition. It could be an award, a promotion, a raise, um, something along those lines to do with your creativity, your craft, your work that you do. <clears throat> Taurus, this is you here in this position. Ace of Pentacles. You are representing a new material opportunity for prosperity in the material world. Ace of Pentacles is that seed that has all the DNA for the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. So whatever this new project that you're currently working on, this new seed feeling here for Taurus, especially, and I said it before, March 2019, this March, there's going to be a, a new moon, there's going to be the... Um, Uranus transiting Taurus, and it lasts for eight years. It's a big deal. Okay, they, it, it, please look it up. They're saying that basically it's about breaking away from tradition, being more about yourself, a little bit increase in materialism, um, whatever you've been conditioned to do your whole life, that this phase for the next eight years is going to be pushing you to do you and that overrides the conditioning, which is amazing, okay? All right, so Ace of Pentacles is you right now, Taurus. New beginning, new opportunity. Ace of Pentacles can be a new job, a new relationship, anything along those lines of the material world, from a healthy body to a home to uh, a new job to whatever it is related. And I feel like it's related to work because this is recognition for skills at work. Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity. This is you right now, the seed ready to bloom, ready to grow, has 
all the abilities and the capabilities and um just like the magician okay he has everything that they can they they, they need to manifest the completion of the material world around you is this full energy major arcane it's going to have a major influence for the day for thursday february 28th this is going to be the energy of this fate card that wants to start something new this is starting something new this is starting something new a new beginning a new opportunity a new fresh start a new adventure and here you've got the four of wands is the outcome it's going to bring did this is this just no it's still going okay Four of Wands is the outcome, and that means it's stability. What is going to be the outcome of all of this for the day? This is good times, stable, happy home, happy kids, um, building on a solid foundation, healing, rites of passage, reunion, celebration. It's a very social card, the Four of Wands. Social because it's after you've made a life that's solid. Now you can kind of have people over for Sunday dinners. You can have... Um, social time with your friends and have, you know, go out, travel, do whatever. It's a card of being stable, being stable. And now you can be social where it, it'll show wedding preparations being made in the, um, on the land where the people own with a house in the background with girls, with flowers and things like that. It's got a very celebratory kind of feel to it, which could also relate to rites of passage like graduations or, um, marriage even on the bottom you've got the lover's card so lover's card is the underlying energy Gemini again we, we keep getting Gemini or it's in other words it's having to make a decision the lover's card always has a sense of you need to make a choice between two things you need to be in alignment with your physical and your um, your spiritual a spiritual consciousness, your self-conscious, subconscious, all these three being in alignment. It's also speaking to a love interest. Somebody who either is has sparked your interest or someone relating to a love interest, someone from your past or someone currently in your life, whatever it may be. That's the underlying energy here. So let's pull some Oracle cards. I'm going to pull the Gateway Oracle cards first. Can we get a card, please, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Can we get a card, please, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Thursday, March 28th? get one card please for Taurus Sun Moon Rising and Venus for Thursday February 28th all right opening to love on the bottom looking deeper deep within me is majestic radiance so we'll put these two together And look, revealing radiance. We'll go on into that. Let me read this to you. Opening to love, my heart is open. Love is on its way. The more you open to love, the more its sweet nectar can surge through your soul. From the love of others to the love of self. To love from the creator, love flows to and through you. You are indeed a sacred vessel for love to flow through. The universe wants you to know there is nothing you need to do to deserve love. It is already waiting for you. It's like the sun, there for everyone. It's simply a matter of stepping out to bask in that warm and glowing light. Who are you, who you are is enough. Now this is true. In matters of romance, love is flowing, wounds are healing, and hearts are opening. If only you could see yourself as those in spirit see you, you would know how very loved you truly are. 
Questions to ask yourself. What is my true pathway to love? How can I open myself to love even more? What is blocking me from welcoming love? Looking deeper. Deep within me is a majestic radiance. Card meaning things are not always as they seem. Look deeper into the situations and relationships in your life. Something that seemed clo seems closed may in fact be just ready to open. If you go beneath the surface, you may find hidden gems of truth, light, and abundance. The universe wants you to know. This is a time to engage and reflect. It might be worth taking a second look at something you previously passed over. Imagine a mystical mountain lake where you can see the reflection of the sky and trees. But when you look beneath the surface, you can see sparkling gems in the crystal clear depths. These treasures are meant for you. By exploring hidden crevices in your soul, you will begin to uncover even more profound levels of the vast majesty within yourself. Questions to ask yourself. Regarding my relationships with myself and others, is there an area in which I should look deeper? If I need to go beneath the surface of a situation in my life, how should I proceed? Is there anything that I'm not seeing in my life? All right, next we're going to pull a Work Your Light Oracle card. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. For Thursday, February 28th, can we get a card for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Thursday, February 28th? bottom trust the niggle what is the niggling feeling telling you trying to tell you we got that last time as well share your voice come out of the cave persecution expression okay where's that book now where did it go So share your voice. Seventy-two it says, "You come out of the cave. Persecution, expression. You are being called to share your voice. Perhaps by speaking up in a relationship, or through writing, speaking, singing, or some other form of creative expression. We each hold a truth deep within us that longs to be expressed." Sculpted for lifetimes, the voice of your soul is like no other. It carries with it wisdom that can only be gained through soul history and growth. By remembering, tapping into, and expressing this unique tone, we not only heal ourselves, we also heal the planet at large. When you share your voice, you unlock something in the universe and call a missing piece of you home. Your individual voice is the most powerful sound current on the planet. If you have kept your soul's voice silenced or held back, chanting or singing could be truly life-changing for you. As we shed the layers of our personality and start letting our unique soul speak through us, we discover that we actually have a very clear message that longs to be shared. The more we speak it, the clearer it gets. There's never been a better time in history than right now to rise up, speak your truth, and share your soul's voice. If you feel fearful, know that you are not alone and that the world needs your unique tone in order to harmonize. As we each rise up and share our song, we make it easier for the next person to do the same. Work your light action, express yourself, share your voice, speak to those who can hear you. Then trust the niggling feeling, trust the niggle is 42. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? The niggling feeling, that annoying niggling feeling, that inconvenient annoying niggling feeling, try as you might, it's there and it ain't going anywhere. Most people spend years ignoring their feelings throwing their best dollops of stubbornness, ego, and post-rationalization to numb them out. It's exhausting. 
and until you face the niggle, life just throws you more bait to awaken it. To draw your attention to the light uh, within you that is bursting to come out, the niggle is an arrow pointing to what is standing in your way. The relationship, the conversation, the decision, the shift that needs to be made, the stone in your shoe. Often we feel the niggling feeling in our body first. Many people think that intuition is something from the higher realms, but in fact it is the body that is the intuitive one, working through our senses to deliver vibrational information. It takes just a moment every day to scan your body to receive the intuitive intelligence and act on it quickly. You are being called to face the niggle now. If you don't face it, the universe will throw something much bigger, more obvious in your path. And then you will likely regret that you didn't answer the niggle in the first place. I know it's scary, but you are safe. Work your light inquiry. What is your niggling feeling trying to tell you? All right. Now I'm going to pick one fashion oracle card. Here we get a card for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Thursday, March 28th. There we go. Richard Avedon, if in doubt, add elephants. Dress for your cover girl moment. Capture life on camera, but be sure to live it too. Which is just speaking to, um, if you don't know quite what I feel like is saying, if you don't quite know what you're doing right now, you feel a little bit lost, possibly maybe travel is always a great idea. Also, always making sure to take care of your appearance and grooming and things like that. Dress for your cover girl moment because... It does make an impact on your mind state. Capture life on camera. Be sure to live it too. Is Make sure you, for sure, keep your memories and stuff and have wonderful kind of those people you know who look good on social media and then in private life is not so great. It's saying make sure that you have a great life too. This is all about being good on paper but also having, look at the elephants and capturing those moments, like making sure you experience life. And I went tour. Only you need to know what goes on behind the shades. Loyalty is the most important label to wear. Vogue is an attitude, not just a magazine. I love it. Fucking love it. Sorry for swearing. <laughs> Only you need to know what goes on behind the shades, behind the scenes. Loyalty is the most important label to wear. Torians are nothing if not loyal, right? Vogue is an attitude, not just a magazine. So whatever your pl place of work is, whatever your craft is, what is, whatever your label is, right? The loyalty, the attitudes, not just a magazine. Oh, I love this. This was on the bottom when I first picked it up to shuffle. And I was like, oh, that's so pretty in my head. And then it popped up again on the bottom. Yes. Irving Penn. Look at the flowers. I love it. You know, I, I just posted poppies up. Okay. This looks like poppies. I think it's poppies. Maybe not. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think so. Kind of looks like it though. All right. Art is in the everyday. Style is how you hold yourself. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Style is how you hold yourself, not who you wear. Look beyond the face they show the world and see the soul. Art is in the everyday. Yep. Style is how you hold yourself, not who you wear. Look beyond the face they show the world and see the soul. I love it. It's freaking amazing. I love it. Looking beyond, of course, inner wealth versus like trying to, you know, wear fancy clothes and be empty. But at the same time, look at this. These three, these three, they're my three favorites right now, man. I love Naomi Campbell too, but my goodness, I love it. I freaking love it to death. All right. She's a boss. All right, let's get... One. Oh, by the way, I just found out Carl Lagerfeld passed away. How sad. <sighs> okay. Let me get one card for a tour. Someone rising in Venus for March. Sorry, for February 28th, please. This is the last day of February, and then we're in the Taurus. Uranus transiting Taurus time. Can we get a card, please, for... Taurus. I'm no, 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 <laughs> no. Hell's no. Can we get a? That's what it is. Okay. If I want to feel supported, I must support myself. It's true, right, guys? So true. On the bottom, 
I let go and allow the universe to do her thing. So that is it. That was your read. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to put these up just so you can get a visual here. I love these. I love these. Carving pen. Isn't that lovely? Look at the color we got today, guys. Look at the boldness. Look at the victory, the recognition for work skills, the new material opportunity. You know, look at we got elephants, we got travel. I freaking love it. Wasn't that a beautiful high energy? That's why I like this fashion oracle card. You know? All right, guys. So that is your read for Thursday, February 28th. Can you feel the change? I can. Thank you for stopping by. Take care. And I'm going to do some other daily reads for other people. And then I'll have a... I know I have to do major reads coming up too. It's on the list. All right. Take care. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day.